stick them on there, we can get them anywhere from 13 to 14 to 15 dollars a piece. And we need approximately, I think, 17 of them if we put them on. So that's really a, not a major cost, yeah. I don't think. Mm -hmm. But if you'll pay for them, we'll get them ordered probably from Johnson Sign or Stella. There's a company called Stello that's a dollar cheaper, but we don't know what the shipping would be on. Okay. So that's. So your direction there is get them, take the bill to Heather. Okay. okay. Uh, do you think sticking them on the doors? is appropriate. Uh, we all got glass doors, and they'll look right beside the handicap sign, the handicap insignia that's on there. Is there, would it create any issue where someone might not see someone else coming out a door? I don't think so. I don't okay. think so. As long as it's not a safety I issue, understand. what do you guys think? Is that appropriate? Okay. That would be our least expensive way out. We don't want to drive folks and put signs up. Uh, with your permission, uh, just a second. Come on. Come on. I think on concerning the the signs on the on the door, the ADA signs may need to be off to the side. There, there's a height and a distance from doors that they need to be for for uh, door numbers and those kind of things. If it's on the door, it may be an ADA issue that you might want to check first. We'll check with that. Yeah. Okay. We'll check ADA. Yeah. Okay. Sure we don't okay. Pull up someplace we have to check. Thank you. If they're in a wheelchair. Yeah, I know. I mean, I appreciate your thoughts, but I'm, I, it may not be the may not be the place for my. We well, may be able to even put these lower on the door. I don't know if there's a there's no directive in the state issued uh, mm -hmm. whatever you call it to to do it. Okay. Uh, right. I don't think it's this high, but okay. uh, we'll check further to make sure we don't get them in an improper place. You, uh, I. I gave you the website and stuff, didn't I? Mm -hmm. That what they have to say. Uh, I think Mark's got it. I okay, it because not, because it is it it is uh, uh, signs are required at all public entrances. Um, signs must read. State law prohibits smoking within eight foot of this entrance, or similar language. And then they're available at that website. And I gave I I think I gave you the website. I have must have given it to Mark. We'll make sure that we'll... Yeah, I, e I emailed it, because I... Do you have email? Mark does. Yeah, I... Okay, so... So, don't get upset when I email Mark stuff, because well, I can, I can do that, stuff. and I'll... I, if it's for you, I'll tell... I'll, I'll make sure he knows it's for you, but... Yeah, okay. We're, we're working together pretty much on all this... I, I, know, I know, I know. I know. Is, uh, on that... With this, I want to, uh, again, I apologize for the late intrusion here, but we just literally got some of this information in the last few, well, in the last hour. Uh, we've got, I don't know if the contract's been signed. I think you wanted to, we wanted to run that by the console for the heating system. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's, okay. you're well, on their, you're on their agenda. Tomorrow. I am not, but we may have to go under the commissioner's mandate because we didn't know we was going to get all this until today. So, uh, uh, under commissioner's time. Or, I'm sorry, Wednesday, 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 yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. So, uh, I don't think it'll take long, but uh, I wanted the commissioners to be aware of, of things that are happening here. Okay. Uh, okay. Just for information, uh, we've got some annex roof problems. We've got the museum has requested some work. All right. Could, 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 before we really get into that, though, let's let's go let's go back and finish finish up the top. Let's see. Okay. The top item on this sheet. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, because you did. Uh, we we had talked about this. We have a contract. And, and that all that needs the signatures. Uh, you want to run it past the council to make sure that it's okay with them before you sign it. Uh, council of Barrett wanted that. Right. They 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 they've talked about it. Um, in fact, they they've moved it up. They weren't going to talk about this until June. Oh, okay. But for your sake, right. they moved it up till Wednesday. Right. It's very it's very much it is on their agenda, isn't it? Sure, there's some mention of it. Okay, okay, I have the agenda over there. Um, because I believe, I believe in talk, talking to the, the chairman, he'd like to get moving right. on this I, uh, project. It's a, 
a timing of weather and everything else. Right. So, so I think we're clear on that one, okay. and we're clear on the bottom smoking prohibition signs. Right. Now go ahead and talk to us about the okay. other items. The, the next one is the museum roof repair. Danny Tipman approached me with a bid to get it done. It was, but it was very incomplete and not. Uh, it wasn't consistent of what was needed over there, so uh, we took the liberty of getting two or three quotes. Uh, you can see uh, lepers from, uh, it's quite a bit higher than Smith's for basically the same thing as far as we can see. So this is Mark and I's recommendation after going over the, over the, the bids on them. Uh, that money, I don't know if you want, I don't know where that comes from. That comes out of uh, Cube Cap. Uh, my, and, and the, uh, but you can read there what's involved in that. Maybe they was going to do some covering up with some paint on some eave spouts and that stuff. We got to looking at it and the eave troughs on the building are rusted out. There's no use painting them and put leaf protection on them. Was okay. when they're leaking. So right. that is a major expense right. that went up Did for there. Did Danny mention whether or not there's a budget line yeah, she, item for she, maintenance? She, uh, I don't think there is for the museum. Okay. I, if I understand right, it was just kind of an agreement that the county would maintain that, that building as far as maintenance. And okay. I guess he's kind of right. maintenance. Right. But uh, those are the uh, three or four things that have to be done over there. I'm familiar with the people that did quote one, mm -hmm. okay? They've done I know it. lots of work for me. Uh, it, it's just, I, I'm, I'm struggling with thinking there's $18,000 difference. Dude. Mark and I did the same thing. It, there's a, a big difference. Uh, did did you talk to Joe or Josh? And, and, uh, it was Josh that was out and, and uh -huh. looked at the building and gave us a... Uh, A lot of the cost is they was going to have to lease or rent a lift to get to the roof. Smiths think they can do it with the lift rented from B and J down here and get up on the roof and do that. So that that was a three thousand dollar cost right there. Okay. And they and they were considerably cheaper on the I'm east just, I'm just blown well, away like I'm sure you were I, too. I, we I, had I had Leffer build a. a on, well, you can see on the roof repair on the annex on the next item down, it was no, I do. a similar I do. situation. I do. I see it. And I see it. I, uh, yeah. Mr. Barrett told me the same thing. They did wonderful work and they did a great job for him, but I, I, I can't argue with the numbers, I guess. No, no, sir, you can't, and it may be a situation of how busy they that's, are. I think got something to do with it. It's like, okay, you want to pay us, we'll be here, but... Um, I can't come up with another explanation there. I, I absolutely, positively think their work is wonderful. Uh, um, so, Smith Roofing, uh, bonded, licensed. Yeah. They, they basically took over Goldwood's business when they were oh. doing, they've been doing it for several years. They, okay, they okay, I, okay. Them. Okay. So that's who, who that okay. is. Okay, I didn't know that was a yeah. choice there. Okay. Uh, from that, we go to the annex roof, which is basically that pair of foot wall around it. It's been on there. I can't tell you exactly when that was done. 15, 18 years ago, uh, we put a whole new roof on it. Well, the part that it's not a rubber roof, it's an asphalt build up roof that they build up over the pair of foot walls. Well, those are over the time have cracked and dried out, and we're getting water going down through that into the wall. So uh, they talk about uh, the drip edge cap. They're going to make a cap that's similar to this building where it goes clear over the wall down both sides, leave enough room if we have to re roof it that there's room to get up underneath it so we wouldn't have to remove it. To, it won't be a waste, and it'll eliminate that water getting in that wall. The other, the drip edge above the windows is those east windows where the garage door headers used to be. They put a piece of metal in there to lay brick on, and they're not, that was, from what we can get, strictly the purpose of them, because there's another I-beam back in there that's supporting the weight. 
but the water's coming down, running back and down the wall on them, and we're getting water down through them. So that's the other part of that bid on, on the annex there. Uh, the windows, there. I think we just need some new J-cattle around some of the windows on the east side. Uh, they were, they was going to address that. So that's that's what that cost is. And there again, uh, uh, if we can use Cuban cap money for that, it'd be great because uh, uh, we've got we're going to have some additional events on some other items coming up as, as uh, far as the boiler. And I don't think I don't think we've got anything any surprises coming with the restoration of the courthouse. But you don't know once you get into it what happen but I, I just wanted commissioners to be aware of what we was doing and, I, I appreciate and, it. and perhaps uh, uh, the uh, mm -hmm. council can they got time can take a little look at this and give us their blessing or their tomorrow or Wednesday gentlemen do you want to just send them on to council yes that's favorable okay I'm sorry yes favorable I'm sorry Make a motion. I'd so move. We ask the chairman to uh, present the uh, favorable uh, recommendation to council to go ahead and do this work. We can't have water on the inside. No, I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, the same sign. I will give it a favorable recommendation then on uh, Wednesday. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, Denny. Uh, I don't see Atlas anywhere. Uh, they were supposed to show up today. They called, and because of the threatening weather and the fact that they're not done with the job they're on, okay. they said perhaps the end of the week, first of next week. So okay. they backed us up a week. What is there? I, I'm sorry, I don't even know when Old Settlers Day is, but is there fourth week in June? Does the time permit them to be done and out of here? They or say, they say that. They have informed of that date, and they say they will be done by that. Okay. So that's okay. the information. Just a safety issue for them as well sure. as us. So. Um, well, if it doesn't happen, they'll have to. I'll inform them. They'll have to. If they got a machine, they'll have to park it someplace else for a week. Well, because you know what's going to happen yeah. if they know. Yeah. Um, okay. Thank you. Re appreciate. It. I'm sorry. It took so long to get to That's here. all right. Fine. Thank, Thank you. Thank so you. Much. All right. Uh, the, I know we've, we've individually kind of discussed this, but let me bring it back up again. Uh, once again, the Bowen Center has sent us a request for money for 2013. Their request is $176,000 and some change, which represents a, uh, a, a 1.03 quotient, which I understand that. Um, so that makes it up about $5,000. Um, I'm not. I'm not comfortable with how the program. I understand the law says we got to do it. I, that part I understand, but um, I, I I think we're all in agreement that he's going to come and talk to us. Right? It's time. It's time for Bowen Center to, to explain to us. I don't. I honestly don't know what this county gets for one hundred seventy-six thousand dollars. I really don't. So. Well, um, constantly. They okay. do everything. Serious mental disturbances to family issues to budgeting to try to help them out any way they can. He can explain it to you okay. here, but okay. I think it's wise you have. Can, can I ask you this? Is this really a, just a subsidy to maintain the operation here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I under, that part, see, then I can kind of understand because they do a, a run a, an office here. Mm -hmm. and so. Okay, so he will be here. I. He didn't think uh, he could make May 21st. You've talked to him since May. Yes, he's on the agenda for one thirty. May 21st. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. He didn't, he didn't think that. he could make that. Okay, good enough. All right, let's finalize this, this auction thing, what what we want to do in, in, in this auction. What, what's your thoughts on county auction? If we, and it's just my thought, if we move it, off base and go to that residence which the auctioneer wants to do I would recommend we only sell the five cars okay I agree with Tom 
I think was, was that a second, George? Yeah. Okay, second. And, 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 and we can take a vote if you want. We'll vote on it, uh, motion second. I agree. That, that's all we're really going to do is get rid of those cars. We're not going to deal with anything else. I will tell the trustees. Now, if they have a large item, I don't care what you want to do with that. I think they should contact the auctioneer. Okay. It has to be done by Wednesday. That's right. That's right. Thank you. I will try to get that email out tonight to them. Yes, thank you. Um, they need to contact. I think they need to contact him. We are now out of the loop. Uh, so for our employees, you know, don't be gathering stuff you want to put in the auction because at this time, we're not going to have an auction in 2012 except get rid of those cars. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that, that input. Um, and then and this, I think like the last thing I got on my list, I, I guess we got some other stuff here. Um, was I given a direction to go ahead and invite someone from the extension office to, to come in and kind of explain their I, charges? I would ask that. Okay. I will, I will deal with that. Okay. Uh, again, I'm dealing with some Amy stuff here. Um, there's been some problems reported in the basement of this building. They cannot use their cell phones. They, they can't get out. It's, uh, allow me to read this letter from Amy. Um, I was asked by several people to look into this, uh, meaning a way to fix the problem so the people in the basement can use their cell phones. It is a system where people can use their cell phones in the basement no one can get reception, including the drug task force. Uh, if you're not interested in the project, I understand. I just want to make sure I passed along the concern of the people wanting this, especially when there are meetings down there. All okay, right, so what, what Amy did for us was she got together with Butch and basically just said, Butch, what's it going to take to make sure uh, we can use cell phones in the basement of this building? It's going to take $2,272 and... 39 cents. Will that help the reception that we have in the rest of the county building? Boy, would, I would sure think it would. I would sure think it would cover the building. I would sure think it would. I think that's a... Sorry. This estimate is to install a cell phone booster that could cover the entire government center. <laughs> with two antennas in the basement to boost a cell signal in the basement, this works for all cell phone providers. It's a two-year warranty on the cell system, one-year warranty on the labor. It would be a uh, dual-band cell phone amplifier, lightning protection, a splitter, jumper cable, a hundred foot of antenna a t a cable, uh, indoor dual-band dome antenna, miscellaneous parts, shipping, handling, and labor. What, what's your thoughts? I, I'm not going to sit here and say it's not an issue because I don't go down the basement, but if it's an issue, I don't know. Do we have a, we don't have a outside it in the records department. We don't have any landforms. There's a landfill in the main conference room on both sides. But if she's up on a ladder, probably can't get to the land phone. Yeah. I, I guess my thought on this is we've got the drug task force down there, and it's either move them or do this. It's kind of my thought on it. I really think this is for them. I, I, I don't. In a public meeting, I really don't want to discuss why they need the cell phone usage down there. Um, you could meet privately with them and talk to them about it. I, I, that's not, that doesn't mean I'm saying we do it. I'm just saying that's, that's the issue. I thought we got her a cordless phone. We did. I think, I think you're right. Yeah, but not saying. cell, just a cordless, cordless landline. Yeah. Think so I, I don't know if she, I don't know if she's involved. There are no other people in the 
then unless you're on break, you know, there, there's no other people. There is a big community room down there. So. Did that come from the full trainers, the election people? That was all the last couple weeks. You know, I, I, I don't have a I don't have a feeling. This was uh, this uh, as was dated April the twenty third, so it does go back a, a little ways. Um, well, I think for drug task force, in fact, we have public meetings down there. If something would happen, we need nine one one after running. Can't get in the door. I think it's a good twenty three hundred dollar investment. So I would so move. I agree with Tom. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, same. Um, is this something I take to council, or does it come out of our computer? Or is there anything for phones or anything? No. You, it's in your guys' budget. Phones are in the commissioner budget. Is there what? How are we looking? Can you tell us? What's in the... Uh, Computers are fast unless you need them. We've got three thousand in cell phones. And still have twenty one thousand in telephones, and we haven't used anything for internet service yet. I would say take it out of the telephone loan account, and if we get it low, we always okay. could transfer a line item later in the year. Okay. That had $21,000. Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, I think the, the last thing I, I have was, um, if you'll recall, to, in order for us to, to buy the next ambulance out of sequence, it was going to take an amendment to the community benefit agreement. We, we now have it. It's been produced by uh, uh, Parkview and researched by uh, Mr. Sigler and, and approved. Basically what it says is, uh, pursuant to this agreement, on or about January 1, 2012, Whitley County purchased one ambulance with vehicle equipment. Whitley County agrees to purchase a second ambulance with vehicle equipment in 2012, notwithstanding that the commitment of Whitley County to buy this second ambulance with vehicle equipment does not mature until after the hospital has purchased an ambulance with vehicle equipment for Whitley County and its residents. Um, as a result, Section 1 of the agreement shall be re revised to identify that Whitley County shall purchase its second ambulance with vehicle equipment in 2012. An ambulance, including appropriate vehicle equipment, will be purchased by the hospital in 2013. A uh, second ambulance by the hospital thereafter, including appropriate vehicle equipment. By this agreement, the hospital commits to purchasing no more than two ambulances with vehicle equipment during the term of the agreement. So it doesn't change the numbers, it just changes when they're, when they're bought. So I would entertain a motion to approve or not approve the agreement. Uh, will this money come from the foundation? Or? No, this is the C. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, my ears weren't working right. This is uh, the money we put aside in the CETA program for this year to get this ambulance.
thoughts. We've already uh, agreed to to do this. Um, like you said, we're not changing the numbers that we talked no. about. It's just the timing. Right. And how right. Make a motion that we accept the uh, the community benefit agreement. Second. I have a motion second further discussion. Hearing none, all in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, the same. consider uh, spending $500 to the city for the flower fund so that they can purchase flowers and things. They have asked us to and we are trying to work with them to enhance relationships and things and I think it would be worth $500 well spent could outside the beauty and the flowers. Could that have been in the form of a motion? Yes, it was. Okay. These are flowers. Okay. We have uh, are these are flowers that you denied the first time. Yeah, that's exactly what they are. Okay. Well, I just wondered because that feels <laughs> delayed up there. Uh, that's right. Okay, we have motion and second on the floor. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, same sign. Pay the bill, please. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Sorry. That's all I won't bring up. <laughs> Public? Sorry. Anything but win? No, oh, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Stanley was first, so... Well, no, wait a minute. Stanley, ladies first. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. I think that's right. Ladies first. This, it, it is a win question, but it's a procedural question. That's fine. Um, is there a limit to the number of times that this ordinance can bounce back and forth between you yeah. to the plan I, commission to... I wondered to that, too, but, but um, yeah, and I will find the answer out, but my guess is no. As long as it's staying active, I'm guessing no. Just a guess on my part. It, it, I think the, the problem, if that's the right verbiage, the problem would come in if it's just sitting and nobody's doing anything. Then that, that to me, would be an issue. So I would hope not over twice. We send it back. Yeah, I, I, do back. I do too. I do too. I think I'm gonna get it off the burner. To be honest. Yeah, and 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 the and the, the plan commission has never really had an opportunity to, to hear us, George obviously, so I think they'll just have, there'll be some give and take, and I, I, I'm really optimistic we'll get this job done, so good question. Yes, sir, Mr. Crump. Well, my comment was um, really kind of aside from anything you've discussed all day long, except when um, Woodland Lakes came up relative to Camp Samaritan, but I was going to say that, um, as, as you all know, I've almost become a fixture in this room, I guess, in the last year at least, and uh, I've, I've learned to greatly respect what you folks have to deal with, and I've watched uh, what you do, um, and then as I listened to Michael today, as he presented his uh, highways presentation, I realized the reason for what I saw at the Woodland and Lakes meeting. Uh, Lisa Ledgerwood, the lady there that's their part-time um, uh, assistant, uh, now that they've <laughs> lost the, the full funding, uh, had some very complimentary things to say about Whitley County when the um, introductions were taking place. And uh, about the participation of the county and things that have gone on through them in the past. And I, I almost got the sense that this is a county that others would like to be. And, and um, I think it starts in this room, very honestly, 
because of the things that you folks try to do and and uh, try to look at what's going on and keep a, a keep a, a foresight sense of how things take place. But it's such a simple thing as this dust spray thing it strikes me as the kind of thing that you do because you demonstrate through that that you do care about what's going on with the people out in the county. And, um, and so my comment really lands on, on just passing that along to you and saying that you, um, you're doing things that other people look at and <laughs> I think they'd like to be there. I think they wish they had a way. Thank you very much. Um, I, I feel, and I, I, I've been around, and this is not a knock on other commissioners, not a knock on other commissioners. I'm just simply saying, I think these three people up here really, really want to serve our citizens, and, and I really do. So I'm, I'm very proud to be a, a, a part of these two. They may not claim me, but I'll claim them. So. Thank you for your comments. One thing I will tell you that in, in one of the meetings, we have commissioners meetings uh, over a 10 county area, and uh, one of the Allen County commissioners I was talking to um, said that uh, they're, they're very envious of the way that Whitley County operates, and uh, that was Allen County. Well, what I noticed on that in that board meeting was that at least one of the people there was a commissioner, and that's okay. I mean, I, but what, what went on in the back of my mind was, now maybe it's just because this is for this individual a special thing that they really, really, really care about. Could be that too. But I also wondered if they had resources and, he, and they didn't have anyone else that would do it too. And, and I think that but I just have really begun to grow that sense and, and wanted to say it publicly. The, the sense has been growing for some time, and it comes out of how, how you do what you do. We appreciate it. We appreciate all our citizens. So um, with that, oh. I'm so sorry, Jim. I know Amy's I'm not here, so and you sorry. did her work week. I'm sorry. It's OK. Do you got the circuit breaker summary? Do you have any questions? I started getting these back. Just think of any company, like Jim Bayman gave me one for Bayman Auction. Um, Bill over there gave me one for more. Anyone that we would enter or pay a bill to that you would have affiliation with in any way, shape, or form. Just make sure they're on file so we can get them over to the clerk's office. If, if, and and if, you're, if you're not certain, fill one out. Fill one out, Fill it out. They <laughs> can't really hurt a thing. safe than sorry. Yep, can't hurt a thing. So. Um, Alan Teo, you got a copy as requested his first payment minus the rent mm. to go ahead and distribute his money. Uh, I, yeah, I thought I sent that through and said pay it because okay. that's... That's the seated. That's the right, seated. Yeah, done. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I thought I said pay it, but okay. yeah. For God's sakes, get the man his money. Okay. Um, the other issue, this is, um, oh. let me know, is our mail machine need redone postage machine? I'm not having a problem with the one in the auditor's office, but they're having headaches with the one over at the clerk's office. We had some quotes coming in from Penny Bowes. Our machines are almost obsolescent oh, okay. from Hassler. We own the machine, so we're pretty much just paying maintenance. They can lease us a machine for the two-year contract at the same or less than what we're paying now. And I said, but we'll never own the machines. And they want to know why we'd ever want to own the machines, because all we'll do is sell them at the county auction for nothing. So if we go with Penny Bowes, upgrades and machines will pay something we already have appropriated. Do you want Debbie and I to meet individually with you, or do you want Pending Bowes to come to the meeting? It'll be a signage of a contract. I guess, I guess for me, I'm only going to speak for myself. I, I guess I'd like to see a quote. Okay. I'd like to see a quote both ways. All right. 
So I understand their I understand their thoughts, but when you do lease, you never own it. It's it, it, it is a it contract. Is and that's our job. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I want to see the okay. I want to see the information before I make a decision. I so. will get that around for you and put it on the Did you know you don't have to lick stamps anymore? <laughs> they come. Oh, okay. I didn't know. No. <laughs> We don't run that much postage, do Seriously, our postage, we cut the budget in half, if you remember it's in your budget, because no one mails anything anymore. That's, that is right, and, and that's true. And, and so maybe, you, we, maybe we won't rethink the whole thing, so. Okay. We definitely don't want to own a machine that right now is no good to anybody. All right, all right. Um, you all got your letter? Yep, from you? got it. Doesn't see, don't see it as county business, but okay. I mean, I... Anybody else? Okay. Any other questions on what you got? The rest of it's normal. No. Okay. I'm done. Thank you all. Thanks Thank for, you for coming. coming. Uh, one item. I gave Amy a proposal for her. Uh, Thank you, Otto. And the city has that same proposal. And I haven't been able to give that proposal to the library, so I haven't met with the right person yet. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a copy with you, would you? In my van, I do. Well, the reason I ask is I, I, I think that the, the question that came to be is, is look like we'd have an employee. employee. Yeah. Uh, it, it, that, it, 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 the way it looked, the county was going to pay an employee. And, it would be like a matching grant. The city would put in $40,000 worth of equipment, and that equipment would be at the library. Right. And they would then have to, so the county would have benefit of having their no, meetings. I understand that. I understand that. But what does the county pay for? City's buying equipment. Doesn't it read that the county does the employment? Yeah, for whatever amount of you, the city and the county would have to get together and figure out how many years, All how right. many meetings. I, I, I think that I think that will take. I think that's going to take further discussion before right. we can make any decision. Um, I will tell you that. Amy absolutely passed it along. Amy, it's not hidden on Amy's desk somewhere. I, know, I didn't along. think that. Well, I just want to make sure you know that. No, she did, and uh, um, I, I, I know myself. I stumbled over the, or or, or got hung up on the, the the what appeared to be a county employee. So um, it's probably something that we need to to discuss and. It's going to be an employment issue. We need to discuss it in a right. different And my place. only reason why I'm bringing it up now would be, I think someone, either commissioners, or council person, should be considering maybe have a, a person talk with the city to see what their idea is of what. It's just uh -huh. to get the ball rolling instead All of right. just uh, no, having... I all right, I I will I will meet with the mayor. I will meet with the mayor then, and uh, and he has that. a copy too. So okay, okay. I owe you an apology anyway. So I'll meet with the mayor. <laughs> okay. Um, one more thing, I would like one of you three to meet with John Lefevre on the refinance of the government bond, so you can hear what he is recommending or not recommending that we do this. Chairman, uh, take care of that. Sign it in. Yeah, no, I, I, that's fine. I'll, I'll be glad to do that. I'll be glad to do that. Okay. It's ready to go. So. Uh, well, how soon? I mean, I, is, is anybody see. pushing us on this? I would think they would be. I'm but, off. Uh, and, 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 and Lisa Lee and I still And how pushing? I mean, um, the rates are down. That pushing. Yeah, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I know, I know. Everybody at on bond, Lisa Lee, so that won't be a problem. I'll, do, I'll take care of it. So. Do you, have you been talking about the question about that? The question was? Uh huh. Okay. Possibly paying more than get saving. Mm -hmm. okay. Right? So we'll. we'll John still recommends it, so you talk to John. Okay. 
on the surface that sounds hysterically funny, but okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do He's too. Like, I just, I just, okay. Okay. Sorry. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.